Croatian family. We, the Congregation of the Catechist Sisters of Mary Immaculate Help of Christians, a member of the Salatian family, present to you a short but comprehensive video. Our congregation, commonly known as Sisters of Mary Immaculate SMI, was founded on 12 December 1948 by Bishop Luis Laravo Moro, SDB, the fourth Bishop of Krishnagar, West Bengal, India. Its purpose is evangelization and catechesis through home visitation and village apostolate with the motto to love God and help others to love God. Our Reverend Founder, whom we formerly called Father Bishop, was born on 24 December 1892 at Weatherford, Texas, USA. Later, the family moved to Mexico. There, inspired by the happy fellowship of the Salations of St. John Bosco in Puebla, he joined them in 1911 and was ordained priest in 1921. Soon afterwards, he founded La Buna Prensa, the Good Press, to promote wholesome literature and cinema. From 1922 to 1939, Father Moro served as major secretary to the Apostolic Delegate in Manila, Philippines. In 1926, he founded the Catholic Truth Society of Manila to publish Catholic literature mainly for youth. He became a popular retreat director, a prolific writer and publisher of a series of catechetical books, popular devotional books and nine textbooks officially recognized for use in schools in the Philippines. His extreme book, Our Catholic Faith, is an exuberant expression of his catechetical charism. He continued to update and promote them wherever he was sent because of his ardent love for the church and zeal for the salvation of all. In 1939, he was ordained Bishop of Krishnagar, India by Pope Pius XII at St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. As Bishop of Krishnagar from 1939 to 1969, he was a zealous pastor and missionary, an angel of God's love to all. He built up the diocese in all fronts. In his pastoral zeal and fatherly concern for people, he drew up precise pastoral plans that would uplift them as good Christians and responsible citizens. He was an active and effective father at the Second Vatican Council, promoting the use of vernacular and inclusive language in the liturgy, human rights, also as an ardent advocate of women's rights to bring about justice and peace in the world. Father Bishop was interested not only in the progress of his flock, but also in the overall advancement of all, irrespective of caste and creed. He rendered commendable services to the city of Krishnagar, especially as a commissioner of Krishnagar municipality for 12 consecutive years. He served as official visitor to Nadia district jail, member of the advisory board of the government hospital, and as a consultant to the Indian Red Cross Society of West Bengal. He faced courageously and acted timely and tenaciously during the crisis of the Second World War, the disastrous famine of Bengal, the partition of India and Pakistan, and on several other such occasions. He was called home to heaven on 31st August 1987. SMI Foundation and Expansion Realizing the great need of educating women religious to evangelize and catechize the entire diocese by going out to the people, visiting their homes and helping them to know and love the true God, 
he founded the Institute of the Sisters of Mary Immaculate. He said, we are not going to just wait for the people to come to us, but we shall go to the people, into the villages, towns and into their homes. We fulfill our Founder's mandate through our main apostolate of home visitation in towns and villages and enhance it through our pastoral, medical, educational, cultural and other activities proper to our institute. The spiritual charism of the congregation is the other experience of Jesus to see God as our most loving and tender Father and to do everything only to please Him according to the little way of spiritual childhood of St. Therese of the Child Jesus. The apostolate of smiling is a unique quality. Our Founder lived and imparted to us as a means of winning others for Christ. He has given us also the principles of the preventive system of St. John Bosco for our life and mission. The congregation was raised to pontifical status in 1966 and went into provinces and delegations in 1990. In 1998, its second novitiate house was opened in Tanzania, East Africa. At present, there are 677 professed sisters, 45 novices, about 130 pre-novices, 92 communities, 5 provinces and 1 delegation. We happily share our charism in the 45 dioceses of the 7 countries we serve, India, Germany, Italy, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda and USA. Membership in the Salation family on 10th June 1992, the Rector Major issued the document of official recognition of our belonging to the Salation family. In our Constitutions, Article 18, and in our Directory of Rules, Articles 15 to 30, define our practice of the preventive system. We accept membership in the Salation family because of the affinity of our spirit and mission to that of St. John Bosco, who was an evangelizer and catechist, for mutual enrichment and greater apostolic fruitfulness, preserving our own identity and charism. Collaboration in the Salation Family Mission We collaborate in the Salation Family Mission through the application of the preventive system of St. John Bosco in our life and activities as explained by our founder and by supporting the Salation Ventures of Evangelization and Catechesis as far as possible. Thank you.